Hey, man, setting up a home studio is so easy, even a dummy could do it. That means you. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Wavy Wayne from wavywayne.com. And right here to my side, this is the beautiful, lovely. Go ahead and introduce yourself to the Hi, people. Hi, I'm Lydia Caesar, singer, songwriter, extraordinaire, and wife. To Wavy Wayne. <laughs> yes, this is my beautiful wife, singer, songwriter, <laughs> all that, man. We are right now in her closet, dressing room, whatever it is, but it's about to be the new home studio in the crib because she been bugging me for months Begging. To, to get a home studio Begging. set up. And now, with the Audio Evo Start Recording Kit, we gonna make her dreams come true Yay! today. All right, so in this little kit that we got right here, this is a start recording bundle. This pretty much has everything that you need to actually start recording. Go ahead and take a look at the box, see what come up in there. Man, you got the headphones, you got the interface, you got the mic, you got the cables. You pretty much got everything that you need to go ahead and start recording. So I think that's what we're gonna do, man. Um, this interface is super simple. Everything is very much user-friendly. We're gonna go ahead and let Lydia unbox this joint because this is about to be her <laughs> recording kit. I'm gonna go over a couple of things with her to make sure that she know how to use everything. But again, I'm pretty sure that it's foolproof. And you know, not that you're a dummy or nothing. Listen, when it comes to this stuff, ha, if I can do it, you can do it. Right? Yeah, that you're a dummy, that. but anybody <laughs> can do this, man. So we're gonna set this up, show y'all how easy it is to really get started recording with this bundle. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and check it out. Lydia, you do the honors and unbox this joint. Ooh. Okay. I bet. Let's get this thing um, Ooh, inside. I'm so excited, y'all. I have been relying on this guy for 10 years to do all my recording. Yeah. Not that I'm not still gonna be relying on him, but I'm about to be self-sufficient out here. Okay, okay. So, so let's see what we got in the box. Okay. A little, um... Okay, you know. a little quick start guide. All right, so it basically tells you everything that you need to do. Let me see this over here in the Lizite real quick. Let's see if I can get this to focus. Go ahead and read that off to the people, okay. man. So, number one, it says to connect. Okay. Number two is to install drivers. All right. Three, it runs off the features. Okay, what's the features? What's the features? Oh, my God. You know, you're putting me on spot. I can't see. Smart, smart gain mode is number one. Two is inputs one and two. Three is phantom power. Four is the volume knob. Five, monitor mix. Six, output volume. Okay. Okay. Four, basic setup. Five, ARC. You want me to read, the, read those? Nah, man. We know you can't read. You know what I'm saying? So she, I, she can't even read, I man. just can't see. <laughs> but we're going uh, to get this thing set up anyway. Yeah, shoot. Now your EVO4 is set up. Let's take a look at a basic recording setup using your SR1 condenser microphone and SR2000 monitoring headphones. That's number four, the basic setup. And then five is ARC. Register your product and download free software and plugins to help you get started. That's all promotion. Okay, please. That's okay, cool. So... <laughs> Here's the, the basic uh, directions. We're going to connect this thing to the computer using the USB. Um, yeah, man, we don't, this thing's so easy. We don't even really need these instructions. We're going to toss those <laughs> to the side. Let's see what we got in the box, though. Okay. You know what I mean? So we're going to start off. What's that right there called? This is a uh, mic holder. A mic holder? This is what holds the microphone. Now drop down in the comments. Is that right or wrong? Is that a mic holder? <laughs> this is what holds the microphone. I know that much. Okay, okay. So shock you, mount. You, there we go. Ah! That is called a shock mount. You I know did what it. I, mean? I did it. So it got these uh, little cables. It's like shock absorption so that the rumble for many bumps or any vibrations from the mic stand doesn't transfer to the mic and give you any added unwanted sound. Okay. okay. So this is a shock mount. Shock absorption. Are you proud? For your microphone. It took a minute, but... It took a little second. But it clicked in. But you got it. Okay. So that's okay. the shock mount. Shock mount we have. Um, next we have a, a XLR cable. Absolutely. We got XLR cable. Okay. What is the XLR cable used for? You plug this end into the microphone. Uh -huh. and this end is what goes into the uh, interface. Okay. To give you a signal. Absolutely. Okay. I'm glad you know even which <laughs> ends go oh, where. You I know, know what I'm saying? I know. I know this part. Okay. I use XLRs. I am a singer Okay. So all. you take the female part of the XLR. That's going to connect to the output of the microphone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then you got another part right there that's going to connect to the what? The interface. Okay, what's the interface? The interface is, is the middleman between your mic and the computer. 
I didn't taught her something. <laughs> she must have been watching. You subscribe to Wavy Wave. I on am. YouTube? I don't watch as much as I'm about to be watching, though. <laughs> I'll tell you what. All right, let's see what else we got okay. in the bike. So it includes the XLR. Okay, and it has this um USB. Okay. To, to USB C. Okay, it got USB to USB C cable okay. right there. That's probably gonna connect the interface to the computer. Okay. Okay. And now we have the mic. Okay, let's see. Okay, you know, pretty simple black mic. It's looks like it's gonna get the job done. Okay. Evo Audient. Mm-hmm. Very clean mic. Let's see what's on the back. SR1. Mm-hmm. Mic type. Cool, cool. Um, yeah, there's no controls or anything on the mic. Super simple and clean. Uh looks kind of like a AKG uh style microphone. Mm -hmm. Like a little C12 looking. All right, what All right. else? Next we have, uh, I'm assuming this is the interface. Yes, that is the interface, man. I've it's been really wanting to small. get my hand on this interface for a minute because I, I checked it out online and it actually has a smart gain feature. It basically nice. means like it's going to automatically detect your input level and set your gain for you. Ooh, so you don't have to worry to about me? recording too loud or too quiet. Is this love? Is this love? Is this love? All oh, right, so that's the this the joint. It got a big green button. I, I like it's making it super simple. Like I don't know what this green button that must mean to start recording. <laughs> some got the thing armed. Okay, we got a little fader button. Got a little meter in something something channel one channel two. Big knob in the middle. We got inputs, so you can actually have two inputs back here, and they got combi jacks. Right, that means they could be either XLR or quarter inch going into the same jack right there. Mm -hmm. You can connect your professional studio monitors um, if you have those as well, or you could just use headphones because it has a headphone jack on the front and it also has a high Z input on the front too. So that little box is actually doing a whole lot right there. Nice. 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 Okay. And then what else we got? We got the headphones, even though I'm going to just use my wavy ones. Okay. Okay. We're going to use the wavy ones though. <laughs> But it does include the headphones. In case you ain't get your wavy ones yet, the Audio Evo headphones are included in this kit. And again, all you pretty much gonna need, what what they gonna need, what, what you think is missing from this kit that they're gonna need speakers. to actually start recording. Oh, no. You don't need the speakers for real. You don't real. need speakers because you got the headphones. Yeah. What's what you need? From, oh, uh, a, a DAW. A DAW? Okay, what DAW are you gonna be using? Pro Tools. Okay. Uh, I think. <laughs> yeah, you definitely okay. using Pro Tools. What else? What else would we need besides for this stuff? A microphone. Uh, Where are you going to put the mic at? Oh, a mic stand. You're going to need a mic stand. Right. And I have one. Yeah. I have a mic stand, so that's good. But if what you else don't you have need? one, a pop filter. Yeah, you're going to need a pop filter, too. So pretty much all you need is a microphone, a microphone stand, stand and, a, and pop a pop filter. filter. And you're going to be good to go. All right. That's it. All right, bet. So let's go ahead, sit everything up on this desk right here that we have so we can get rid of this box. And then we're gonna start setting this thing on up. Hi. Right, so one of the one of the first things that we need to do is actually get the microphone on to the mic stand. Uh, so we got a really nice uh, mic stand right here. So one thing that I want to do first is always, always, I always put the shock mount or as Lydia called it, the microphone holder. I called it a shock mount. <laughs> it took a second, but I got there. I always want to put the shock mount onto the actual mic stand first, okay? Now, one thing you don't want to do and make the mistake of is putting your microphone into the shock mount and then going up to the mic stand and like twisting the whole thing around. Now, even though this kit is pretty affordable, you still don't want to risk damaging your gear, man. Always take good care of your studio equipment. You don't want to risk dropping it at all. So one thing I'm going to do is go ahead and put this onto the mic stand first. And I'm not even going to twist this around. I'm going to loosen up the mic stand so that this little inner rod twists around. And then I can just keep this steady and twist this right onto the shock mount. Then I'm going to go ahead and tighten this up. All right. Now, I like for the mic to hang upside down. Um, you know, there is some conventional wisdom out there that says that having the mic upside down um, helps the uh, heat to uh, dissipate, if I'm using that word correctly, <laughs> from the actual mic capsule itself so that it doesn't overheat. But also, it just looks cool because, you know, in all the old school studio pictures and videos, you know what I'm saying, now it's got the mic upside down. So that's how we're going to rock that thing no matter what. Um, this thing is just going to slide right up on there and then you tighten that down. Just make sure that that's 
nice and tight. Don't over tighten because obviously you don't want to break anything, but you definitely want it to be tight enough. And there's the mic. Now, another good thing to make sure that you guys always do right is to get the correct side of the microphone facing towards uh, your source, okay? Mm -hmm. Most of the time, most mics are going to have some type of indicator, like a logo or something on the front other microphone where you need to address it at some microphones are side address front address so if you're not sure where to address your microphone you need to access the user manual but for the most part wherever the logo of the microphone is that's going to be the front of the microphone and you want to make sure that it's facing that way because with a microphone like this it'll be easier to flip that thing backwards mm -hmm. and your sound will be sounding Crazy. crazy. Remember you, that one time you shot a whole video with the mic backwards? Ha <laughs> ha! They don't know about that because they ain't see it. I don't remember that. Of course you don't. I don't remember anything like that. <laughs> Next we're going to take this XLR cable and we're going to get this thing going. Yes, yeah, sir. We're going to connect XLR this. XLR cable. I'll be plugging the XLR, man. You, know you want to plug in the XLR? Let me get active. Go ahead, man. Get, get active out Get here. active out Oh, I see you're doing it wrong. No! Right. Am I? Oh. Make sure it click. All right, cool. Click. Then I just like to drape this cable right over there like that. Now, this cable ain't that long, so you're going to really have to short. stay pretty close to your interface. This isn't a stage cable, I'll tell you what. <laughs> Um, and then on our actual interface, okay, so you see we have two inputs, input one and input two. I'm just going to go ahead and go to input one right now, plug this uh, directly in. You see we got there like that. Now, next thing we need to do is actually connect this to the computer. Now, do you have a USB-C to USB-C? Yes, you do on this drive. Go ahead and unplug that drive. All right, so install drivers. Install the latest drivers, which can be found at Evo. Uh, dot audio evo 4 downloads once the driver is installed you may be prompted to update the firmware a full installation guide can be found all right so give me a quick second i'm gonna go and find out if i need to install any drivers or update the software as per the instructions all right y'all so we just got the evo 4 set up and the sr1 condenser microphone uh, we applied the pop filter to the stand and we about to go ahead and test out the smart game feature and then test out some vocal recording on Lydia just to see how this thing is sounding straight up out the box, extra jive, how that interface is sounding, how this mic is sounding. And um, yeah, that's what we about to do. You see, we got the mic up on the mic stand. Now this is a condenser microphone, which means it's gonna need phantom power. Do you know what phantom power mean? I don't know what it means, but I know condensers need phantom power. Okay, okay. so <laughs> phantom power, it means that it needs 48 volts of power to actually work. So, okay, so on the Evo 4 interface, it makes it really easy to, to work. Man, it's got all these buttons that you need. So what we need to do is actually apply phantom power. Um, so you have your different input select. So you got your input one. Let me make sure we have focus. We got, we got input one, input two. This is our smart gain uh, feature right here. Uh, we have our uh, mix control here, and then this is our, our main output level that we can control here. So right now, since we got our mic plugged into input one, go ahead and hit that input one button. Okay, you see how it lights up and stuff, let you know where your uh, input level is at, and then hit that 48 volts button. All right, cool, so now, our mic is powered. And we can see. We can see that when we talking, we getting level on that thing. Level up, level up, level up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So now, what you want to do is actually let's use the smart game feature on this, okay? Okay. So to do that, all you got to do is hit the smart game button right here. The smart game button looks like the yeah, mic. Yeah. Yep. The little green button. Okay. And then what you got to do is choose. You see how these are flashing? Yes. Choose which input you want to apply the smart gain to. And we want to use one because we're using input one, right? Yep. And so okay. now just go ahead and sing it to the microphone. So you're going to sit down and just give me a little sang it sang. What's love got to do with it? Oh, I, got it. I can't sing that. It might get a strike. Yeah, sing something Okay. Else. Um... um what's the how St. Louis got started? St. Louis, I love you. Oh, you sent okay so before you do that we need to uh, actually hit the okay, okay. Record button you got to hit the smart game button one more time now that is ready flashing red now it's recording no no it's ready for the smart game input so when you do that it's ready okay so let me run down them steps again so again you hit the smart game button once it starts flashing you choose which channel you want to uh use your smart gain on so in this case we're going to go with one 
And then we're going to hit the smart gain button again. It's going to do some little flashy flashes and so then it's ready. you know ready. it's working. Yeah, so now go ahead and start to sing. St. Louis, I love you. You sent the perfect man. St. Louis, I love you. All right, cool. And then so it flashed twice to give you a little green indicator and it stopped to let you know that it actually got the level. You know what I'm saying? So your level is set. Okay. Cool. So now we're going to go ahead and record some in Pro Tools. Okay. So we're going to record on my track. Yep, yep. We're getting signal in Pro Tools. I can see it right there already. Okay. But you know what? Let's go ahead and put these headphones on. They got the headphones that came with it. You know what I'm saying? They ain't no wavy ones, but we keep them clean, though. <laughs> okay. And I'm going to give y'all the actual raw track straight out of Pro Tools so that y'all can hear this um, after we record, okay? okay. So uh, hold command and hit the space turn bar. This a little bit better for me. All right. Okay. Command. Hold command and hit the space bar. Oh, at the same time. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, you did it. I just have something else. Oh, oh. Yeah, cool. I bet. So now let's go ahead and let's record something. St. Louis, I love you. You sent the perfect man. St. Louis, I love you. I finally understand why he wasn't in my backyard, no. He had to travel to me from afar. St. Louis, St. Louis, I love my St. Louis. Nice, nice, all right? All right. So go ahead and stop the recording. There's our uh, little track in uh, Pro Tools. Okay, okay, okay. So, um, yeah, man, I think that is it. Are we going to listen to it? Nope, oh. not right now. Oh. They're going to hear it live, They're though. They're going to hear it. Okay. All right, child, that has been a quick look at the Audient Evo Star Recording Bundle, man. Setting up a home studio for dummies is really just that easy. And guess what? Audient and I are giving away one of these bundles to one of the lucky subscribers. All of the details are in the description below. Just go ahead and click that link down there, enter, so that you can get your home studio up and running, man. This is some quality stuff. You get a powerful interface, a really nice microphone, and some headphones with all the cables and stuff that you need nice. to actually get started. You probably just need to go ahead and spend another 50 bucks or something to get you a mic stand and a pop filter, and then you have a whole home recording studio that's actually pretty portable because of the the size of it. It's so right. small, right? We take this on our trips and stuff. Okay. I like it. <laughs> Hi, right, y'all. Thanks for watching this video. I'm Wavy Wayne from wavywayne.com. Don't forget, this channel is all about helping you to record and mix better and faster. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and make sure you subscribe, subscribe to everything Lydia too, man. She over there singing, doing vlogs. She cooking. Psych, she don't be cooking. Nothing. I be cooking, just <laughs> not on YouTube. Don't do me. Barely. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching this video, man. I'll see y'all next time. Be dope.